welcome students in this video we will be completing our practical of 4b that is creating the web form to demonstrate the use of ad rotator add rotator control so add rotator control is majorly used for showing you the advertisement banner on our websites so which is helping us to go for uh, increasing the revenue frankly speaking for our web application so now how this particular ad rotator works rotation does not mean scrolling rotation means after a particular number of hits the advertisement will get changed so for completing this particular practical i need to have four to five advertisement banners frankly so i first create my web application by going to file selecting new and selecting the project where i am selecting asp.net web application our practical number 4b so i am giving the name the application as practical 4b so finally empty application got created and i need to create a web application where i would like to implement our ad rotator control so first what is needed we need to have images inside our projects already i had downloaded a few images one for online shopping one for a banner ad one for a banner ad2 and one for banner 3 so some four images have been downloaded so i am just selecting all these four images you can also download the images please focus what is the extension of the image and copy those images either inside your project or inside some folder of your project i am interested in directly copying it inside my project so i got some uh, images like banner3.jpg banner8.jpg banner ad 2jpg online shopping dot jpg now the next term is creating a web form in which i need to specify my ad rotator control which will be helping us to go for displaying the country so from the standard control i had taken the ad rotator control and dragged it inside our web form it is going to ask me from where this ad rotator will be capturing the advertisement dt what we need to do we need to create a xml file which consists of all advertisement so first thing please create the xml file in your project how do we create the xml file simply give a right click on the project select the option add and select the option as new item here you can just search xml so you'll find xml file so please add the xml file with the appropriate name currently i am not changing the name i am keeping the same name as xml file 1 dot xml and inside this xml file you need to keep the id rotator xml tags already i had created the id rotator xml file so this is what the tags which are needed the main tag is advertisements which is closed over here with advertisement and for each of the advertisement we are having ad tag in the ad tag we have a image url which image will be displayed navigate url that when you give a click on the advertisement um, it should be redirected to which particular page alternate text because of any problem if the image is not getting displayed then what is the text need to be displayed impression the number of impressions some more that advertisement repetition is going to be more and keyword used for the sake of filtering the advertisement so this way you can see the first ad is there second ad is there third ad is there fourth ad is there maybe the fourth ad as my companies are i am trying to give the impression more so you'll find the number of times the banner 3 will be getting displayed so i just copied this xml and pasted the xml inside my xml file one dot xml so this is what all the advertisements which are been added so we'll find we have one advertisement second advertisement third advertisement and fourth advertisement inside the main tag called as advertisements so fine advertisement xml file has been completed by us images are been added by us inside of a solution and now it is a task to map your ad rotator with the xml file so i had given a click over here and selected choosing the data source as a new data source and as we would like to retrieve the information from the xml file you will select here the option called as xml file then give a click on okay it asks me tell me the file so i am selecting over here the file called xml file 1.xml 
and I'd given a click on OK. Further, I need to set up some width and height of my AD rotator. So either you can drag or it's better that you can go to properties and you can set the width and height of the banner. So I'm planning to provide the height as maybe 200 and 300 and the width I am interested in keeping it as maybe 400. Right. So this is what my advertisement banner size which you need to specify. Bus finish. The task has been completed. So I just try to run the page and would like to check whether everything is working in a proper way or not. So this is the simply AD rotator control, which is a very nice control, which will be for every hit, it will be displaying the different advertisement banner. So the first advertisement banners get displayed over here. Discount 5% for repairs. And if I give a click on this particular image, you will be redirected towards the other website named as yahoo.com. So Yahoo kaha se aaya in our XML file, you can see we had mentioned your navigate URL as yahoo.com and when I plan to go for refreshing the page a different advertisement is going to come and if you see the Java full stack developer my course where you can learn the various technologies related with Java from me so that advertisement will be coming quite often compared to other advertisement because the impressions are been more so when you give a click on this you will navigate towards my website that is activityeducate.com and you can see the placement section, you can see the event section, you can see the different courses conducted by us. We are basically a certification body along with Oracle, along with Microsoft. Uh, again, we have the PSNV exam center also. The many of the certifications got conducted with us, right? So, and we are offering various placement driven courses to the student. So feel free to come to us to learn various technologies and get placed in our IT industry. So fine. So this is the simple way through which you will be in a position to see various advertisement and you can use your AD rotator control. Thanks a lot student. Subscribe our channel and be tuned with us. Thanks a lot.